I'm gonna try and do another water jug penetration test. This time with the 223 using the 55 grain FMJ from American Eagle. Okay, here goes the American Eagle 55 grain FMJ. Okay, let's take a look at the results from that. They were kind of strange. Here's the first jug and the second jug, and you can tell the third jug's fine, so it obviously only went through two. Here's the first jug about seven feet in front of it. By the way, I was about six yards away, so this is the crazy part. It encaved the table here. This wasn't like that before the shot. <sighs> Before, when I tested the Winchester 3-inch 12-gauge slug, it broke the cinder block underneath the table. It's like as if the water jug explodes with so much force, it creates a pressure wave that just damages what's ever next to it. Because it seems like this first jug here must have just exploded with so much force, or fragments went through the bottom, but it doesn't look like there's any new holes. These two holes were already there. It's just cracked and split here and encaved, so that's pretty crazy. And I was expecting it to go through more than just two. So it seems like it must have just exploded into pieces and deposited all its energy really fast. At the muzzle out of the gun I was using, these bullets are going about 2,950 feet per second. So that's what the 55 grain FMJ did at about 2,900 feet per second. Here's jug number one. And it's not that we had a bad hit that it didn't go through jug number three, because look, there's the entrance. Pretty much dead center, right where I wanted to hit. So there's our 223 entry. And then it just exploded this first jug. Blew the cap off, obviously, and split it open all over the place. Then it sent jug number two right here, so. Already it was barely doing any damage compared to, well, it still did a lot, but compared to the first one, not much. And there's a jacket from the bullet. So that's probably the biggest remains that I'm gonna find. So right here behind jug number two on the ground, there's a big jacket from the 223. So that's what tore through the jugs right there. And obviously it was all in pieces. But anyways, here's a look at jug number two. That's the entrance, a bigger entry now because it was in pieces and it must not have really exited. It just blew it apart from all the energy transfer, I guess, because there's not even any marks on jug number three. So it didn't damage the third jug at all, but it bent and mangled jug number two and blew it open on both sides. And it sounds like there's fragments in it and there is. There's copper and lead fragments in jug number two. So anyways, here's jug number one from the 223. And jug number two. So there's the results from the 223 55 grain FMJ. That's all, thanks for watching.